Hello again, my dear friends. I'm British all day today. And in this episode, we're going to take a deep analysis, an examination of visual deception and visual witchcraft out of control in our society. We're going to examine breasts, butts, contact lenses, hair, lifts for height, so height augmentation, makeup, and plastic surgery. Let's jump right into breasts. Okay, here we have an image of a woman before and after pictures, before and after her breast augmentation. I'd rather have the breasts on the left, even though they're a little floppy and saggy. It's natural. It's the way God made her. And then on the right, we have the plastic version. I wouldn't want to touch those. Yuck. Here's another example. The woman before has very small breasts, which is just fine. That's great. Then on the right, she has the fake plastic boobs. Icky. I would much rather have a woman with small breasts than fake breasts. Here's another example. The before picture is much more beautiful to me. Now, I might be just a weirdo where I prefer a natural woman the way God made her. And maybe a lot of you disagree with me and you like women who primp and preen, wear a lot of makeup, who visually deceive. They have to spend a lot of time visually deceiving. And what they're after is more attention. They're shallow instead of deep. They're very surface level type people that require attention. And look how ugly I am. Look how goofy and ugly I am. Do you think I care? Not one bit. The only people who care about those kind of things are very shallow, low IQ people. Now here is a great example. Look how beautiful the before picture is and then how fake the after picture is. Now she just got insecure because there are other women running around the society with giant breasts maybe and she got insecure about her breasts but look how beautiful she is before she went and mutilated herself and put plastic parts on. Here's another great example of a natural raw beauty who ruined herself and now she looks like a plastic person. And it's so easy to tell when someone is visually deceptive, engaging in visual witchcraft, and they have a certain look about them where they, they lose their unique appearance and their raw beauty and they become a plastic copy that is not unique anymore. They take on an appearance of everybody that becomes plastic. My wife never wears makeup and I might be a weirdo for that, but when you're wearing makeup and you're augmenting your body, there are lots of health hazards and unnecessary things that you're putting your body through because you're shallow. And you're just looking for attention and you're going to get attention from all the wrong people. So that pretty much covers breasts. Now let's get into the butts there. I guess they're butt implants and it's disgusting. It's gross looking. I can't see how any man would look at that and think it looks beautiful or natural. It looks so unnatural. And the opposite of beautiful to me. But again, maybe I'm just a weirdo. And here's a great example of a young woman who has a very flat butt and not much of a figure. So she augmented herself to have a giant butt. And I guess she got fake breasts too. 
And she's got fake hair. Now everything fake. A fake human. And I think this one is a Kardashian. And this one has the before picture on the left. And then the after picture on the right. Now look at those hips. The way the hips come off of the waist, you can tell everything's fake. And before, it was more natural and way more beautiful looking. Now look at this. That looks disgusting. It's just gross. Here's another good example. This woman had, I guess, not much hip curvature, and that's what she was after, but you can tell now that she's plastic and fake, which says a lot about your personality and your shallowness. Here's another great example on the right, in the after picture, it looks ridiculous. It's, it's too much. And even if it wasn't too much, look at her on the, the left, the before picture. What a little beauty. It's so cute. And she's got great curves. I don't know what's getting into people's heads. We are really sliding downwards. Now this one is a man. Now... What I believe is that women are leading us down the road of visual witchcraft and visual deception because of attention seeking and shallowness. They're just not happy with what God gave them. And like I said, look at me. Look how goofy and ugly I am. And I'm getting older, so I'm not going to get any prettier. And do you think I care? I don't care one bit. Now I have the butt on the left where it's a flatter, a flatter normal man's butt and then they're getting butt implants to give them some curvature now. And it's not women's fault that men are doing this now, but women have led the way to where men feel it's okay to become shallow in this way for visual attention. This is a man's butt. That is a man's butt. Okay? The hell is going on? Here's another man. Gentlemen, what are we doing in the West? In, in America? This is crazy. Why are you obsessed about your butts? Men are not supposed to be obsessed with the way their butt looks. That's really crazy. It's a sickness. It's a mental illness. Now before some of you comment in and say, well maybe somebody has a disease and they have to have some kind of visual deception so they can feel more secure about themselves because of a disease or something like that. I'm not talking about those kind of people. I'm not talking about people who have some kind of illness or disease so maybe they wear a wig or do something to their body to make themselves feel more secure what i'm showing in all of these pictures and what i'm talking about is the 99.99999 percent of people who are doing this solely and only for shallow reasons for insecurity for gaining visual attention out in society it's witchcraft and here's some kid on youtube who's got a butt implant now so he's got a girl's butt now we're just going to take a quick look at contact lenses where people aren't happy with the way nature provided them with an eye color so they want to look special and different and have people say, Oh, wow, look at your eyes. It's so beautiful. Ooh, can I take you home? But you can usually tell when someone's eyes are not natural color. And then we have this sort of contact lenses where people want to look like demons now, I guess. And that's great. And this one, look at this woman. And it's funny when um, 
people of color talk about cultural appropriation because this woman is this woman is completely fake and she's taking all the visual attributes of a white woman and slapping them on herself and then they like to yell about cultural appropriation or appropriation of any kind where she has fake hair that's white woman hair and fake eyes that's white woman eyes and look at all the makeup i bet you if you took all of that off she would probably look like snoop dogg and here's a young man who is thoroughly confused not happy with the way nature made them here's kanye west this poor confused soul he really should just go back to the kardashians he is one of the craziest human beings on the planet okay now we're into the hair section and this is where women for fashion reasons are wearing fake hair not happy with the way God or nature made them and they want to look like people from other races or I don't know what's going on just very unhappy with the way they look and over there on the left there's nothing wrong with the way she looks if she just takes that skin cap off and let her hair do its natural thing she's got a very pretty face and I'm sure her hair is very pretty if she would just flaunt it naturally. Here's another good example where what I believe is happening on the left is that she's had her whole life her hair being pulled and yanked and stretched so tightly from her scalp that she's now losing her hair. I don't think this is natural. This is from her pulling her hair and beauticians working on her hair messing it all up and now she's screwed now she has to wear fake hair and this woman there's a lot of women that when they reach a certain age their hair starts to thin and they have to do fake things to make themselves feel better it's the same as a man wearing a toupee insecure is another example and it's unfortunate when something like that happens especially to a young girl like this but like I said look at me look how goofy and ugly I am and you look at you look at yourself in the mirror look how ugly and goofy you are are you gonna go and slap a bunch of fake stuff on to fix it or are you secure in yourself Here's a gentleman who is insecure about his male pattern baldness, which is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with being bald or going bald. But some men are just so insecure they cannot handle it. And here's Toe Rogaine. And Toe Rogaine, I would call him Toe Rogaine because Toe, because he tippy toes everywhere and he wears lifts in his shoes. And Rogaine, because... He had hair transplants because he's very insecure about his height and his male pattern baldness. So he mutilated his head in the back here. Because here's before we started going bald. Nothing wrong with that. You looked beautiful, buddy. And then something happened to you and you became very insecure about your appearance. And maybe it was for your celebrity lifestyle. But... I see it as a shortcoming. I don't care what any of you think. And I'd be willing to debate any of you on these topics. So this poor man is so insecure. And he tries to come across as an alpha male. But you'll never catch an alpha male. And I, I hate that term. Either. You'll never catch a man who's secure in himself. Behaving these ways. Not like Joe Rogan. Not like Andrew Tate. Not like any of these people that we have as idols for young men now it's really disgusting what young men have as idol and hero worship yes ladies that is a toupee it looks pretty good but that's fake 
And here's another celebrity. I think that's Kevin Costner. Going bald, couldn't stand it. Al Pacino. Going bald, couldn't stand it. Insecure. And that's what Hollywood does to us, folks. It spreads its fashion sense throughout the nation. And then we all wind up copying them. We all wind up adopting their childish insecurities about appearance. Here's Mel Gibson. Unfortunately, another beta. And here we have John Travolta. So insecure. There's another celebrity. And why do you think we're all running around with fake stuff on now? Because of celebrity culture. Everybody wants to be rich and famous, so everybody's plastic. There's uh, Elton John. Okay, now we're in the lifts and height augmentation section, where this is mostly men that do this, but some women do it too. But it's usually short men who have short man complex, and they don't like what nature provided to them. So they wear lifts in their shoes to gain one, two, three, four, however many inches the lifts will give you in your shoe. Toe row gain. Now here's a gentleman that had height augmentation surgery where I believe they have to go in and break your bones and then your bones have to be refused or fused together again over a period of time. And that's why you see all the painful contraption in his legs there. It's, it's extending his height. Here's another example of height augmentation surgery or height enhancement surgery. Little shrimpy guy all insecure with himself before. And now after, he's got legs that probably won't work that good anymore. The way they used to work when he was his normal height. And so what? You're short. I'm short. I don't care. It's never stopped me from getting women. It's never stopped me from employment things. It's never, I, I don't have this short man complex that a lot of short men have because I never dwelt, I never dwell on that. It's not in my head all the time that I'm shorter than the average man. I don't care because I have confidence all through growing up as a young man and even as a young adult women were throwing themselves at me left and right so I don't understand what the problem is and look at me I'm I'm not attractive I'm not pretty I'm not tall but yet women would throw themselves at me left and right I had to beat them off with sticks when I was younger okay now we're in the makeup section and this poor woman, she's aging, but she's beautiful on the left. And she thinks she's more beautiful on the right, but she just looks fake on the right. She's wearing a clown mask. And that's what I like to refer to makeup wearing as, is clowns. They're all wearing clown masks. And they have to take so much time out of their day to get their clown mask on before they leave the house. And... You're poisoning your skin. You're poisoning your skin. And there's some of these beauty products that use aborted baby parts. So you got to be careful what you're putting on your skin. And what happens is when you wear makeup too long, you poison your skin for so many years that when you take it off, your face looks even more horrible than it would have if you never put it on in the first place. So over the years, slowly... You're making yourself uglier without your clown mask on. There's nothing wrong with the way she looks on the left. And the reason that they have to do, they have some insecurities because of the fashion industry. Here's another great example. This woman on the left, she is beautiful. She's gorgeous. Look at the great symmetry and features she has. She has some freckling and 
marks on her skin, but so what? Now look at her on the right. She looks like a plastic carbon copy of all the plastic people. No individuality, no uniqueness, and wearing a clown mask that's poisoning her face every day. Nice go in society. And the reason why women feel they have to do this is because of everybody's doing it. If nobody did it, they wouldn't feel they had to do it. And a lot of that has to do with the fashion industry, magazines, models, um, Hollywood, and things like that. The entertainment industry, music, and that's why they all want to look like this now, to be plastic people. Here's another great example. A beautiful woman who's gorgeous without the makeup. Now with the makeup, she doesn't look any better to me. She actually looks 10 times worse because she's now fake. Now here's a, a man who is not happy with what nature gave him. So he's clown masking it up and changing his gender, I think. Here's another young man, not happy with what creation gave him. So he is a fake, a, a person dabbling in visual witchcraft and visual deception because he's so insecure. Now this one, I think this one was a woman who was on hormone and then it says, and then I ultimately decided that I was going to stop hormones. So maybe that is her being a girl again, maybe? I have no idea. It's so confusing nowadays because everybody's so fake. Here's another young man, thoroughly confused by our sick, twisted society. Look at this beautiful young man on the left. I mean, if he took the makeup off and had the doo-doo haircut, uh, maybe if he got a haircut and removed the doo-doo pieces off his head, he would look beautiful. But if for his fashion sense, he's a clown and looks so silly, then look at him on the right. That's not your true self. That's your witchcraft self. That's your visual deceiver self that is your lie that you're living here's another good example look at my face look at the bags under my eyes i mean i'm older than many of you but look at my face all the there's wrinkles there's dark circles under my eyes and part of that has to do with my ancestry but the bags under her eyes are not a unattractive thing that we're all unique in different ways but she feels like she has to hide her natural self with a clown mask now this one is a great example of a natural beauty turning into a clown look how gorgeous she is on the left and on the right she just looks like somebody, if you took all that off, you don't know if she would look like Snoop Dogg or, or not. But when she has it all off, she is a natural beauty that doesn't need the clown mask. She only likes the clown mask to gain more attention or to maybe come up to match where other women are. I don't know, it's a sickness because she's beautiful on the left. Maybe she doesn't like her nose, so she has to change it with makeup. Maybe she doesn't like her lips, so she has to color them. And basically what she's doing is poisoning her face. She's poisoning her skin to where when she's 40, 50 years old, her face is going to look so much worse than it would have if she didn't ever put the clown mask on. Here's another one. There's no difference. It, she looks better on the left because and why didn't she have her earrings in and the necklace on if she would have had the earrings in and the necklace on in the picture on the left 
That's how it's a little deceptive sometimes because they doll themselves up with accessories more on the after picture. But there's nothing wrong with the way she looks in the before picture. She actually looks worse to me in the after picture because now she's a clown. And now right when I see a person like that, I, I see insecurity. I see shallowness. So the personality is out the window too. Okay, now we're into the plastic surgery section. And if there's any sections or topics that I forgot, you guys let me know in the comments. And uh, maybe in the future, if I ever make a video like this again, I'll include the, the visual deception topics that I might have forgot that you can remind me about. But anyway, I wanted to show this one because look at the damage people do to themselves visually with plastic surgery. Now, plastic surgery, they always look weird. You always look crazy and weird after plastic surgery. Maybe with a mild surgery, you can get away with it, but they never stop with a mild surgery. They always go into looking like, well, here, I got a picture for you. This is from the 1980s uh, show Beauty and the Beast. It was a TV sitcom from the 80s and that's the chick from the original Terminator she's a beauty but uh, she's probably all plastic now too but um, look at his look at the lion or the beast let me go back Boop. look she looks just like the beast Boop. Boop. the beast they look like the beast when they get too much plastic surgery. Eh. Here's another woman who I guarantee you, if she would have just let herself age normally without chopping her face up and becoming a freak, she would have been a whole lot prettier than this. Look at those eyes. Look at the mouth. You look like a fake weirdo and you look crazy. And this one is... One of the girls from Friends, the TV sitcom Friends, and she aged and then didn't like, you know, the wrinkles and everything that comes with aging. So now she looks like a plastic weirdo instead of a beautiful older woman. Shame. And this one is a young man. And this is this one blows my mind because look what he did to his ears. So what, your ears stick out. That's fine, buddy. And I guess he changed his whole face structure. Looks like the lips are a little different. The nose is a little different. The eyes are shaped differently. And honestly, on the left, he's way more attractive as a human male. His eyes are more attractive. His eyebrows are more attractive. Nothing wrong with your ears, buddy. And your lips were fine. Everything was cool. And I don't know what you're thinking. Now we're infecting children with this sickness. This twisted disease of the mind. Here's another Hollywood beauty who is now a plastic freak. Poor thing. She was such a beautiful woman before she went plastic. And this one is a comedian named Carrot Top. Dude, what have you done to yourself? You know you messed up. I'm pretty sure when you look in the mirror at your freakishly crazy plastic face, I'm pretty sure you know you messed up now. And here's another actor. Uh, I think that's Mickey Rourke, his name is. He was a heartthrob back in the day and couldn't stand getting old. So now he's got a stretched, weird, plastic face. It doesn't even look like Mickey Rourke anymore. Okay, so that was our little analysis of visual deception. And I call it visual witchcraft in modern USA. We are getting so off course we are destroying ourselves. We are so self-destructive, so superficial, 
so hedonistic, so debaucherous. We're just chopping ourselves up left and right, poisoning ourselves. There's so many women and men in our society that are wearing poison all over their faces, all over their bodies, putting plastic parts into their bodies. So I just wanted to make a little video about it to bring it to light how sick and twisted we have become. We need help. You people need Jesus or something. I don't know what's going on. But like I said, maybe I'm just a weirdo where I prefer a natural woman, but going fake isn't going to help, I don't think. Now we're all becoming fake. We're all becoming visual witches. We're all becoming plastic people. 